Hey guys, what's up? This is Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and today I'm sitting with the co-founders of the Songs app, which I actually reviewed yesterday. Um, so this is Elias Roman, and this is Eric Davich. Why don't you guys tell us what Songs is all about? Sure. So we're a free music streaming service. We have expertly curated playlists for anything you can imagine. We make it really easy to find the right one at the right time. And I know that you have it loaded up right there on the iPad. People will want to see a demo. So um, how, how exactly does this work? Sure. So we make it really easy to find the right playlist at the right time. Let's say you're having a cocktail party in five minutes and everything is ready but the playlist. If you tap activities and you go to cocktail party, you'll see about a dozen playlists that have been hand assembled by music experts that are all really good soundtracks for a cocktail party. So we've got cocktail party jazz or martini swing. Let's go with martini swing. So you can read a quick description of the playlist. You can see some of the artists that are featured on it. If it looks good, press play and you are done. You're listening to a great soundtrack for your cocktail party, totally free, and importantly, no audio ads at all that are going to ruin the vibe. But I heard that uh, this is just like one part of the app right now. You guys actually introduced a brand new feature called Concierge. It's a little bit different. Um, why don't you show us how, how that works? Absolutely. So the quick thinking behind Concierge was we'd made it really easy to find the right playlist at the right time. But we thought it would be cool if you didn't have to find it because it found you. And so what Concierge does is it looks at the day of the week. It's Thursday the time of the day, it's the afternoon. We're looking at the fact that this is a mobile device and then everything we know about Eric, and we're saying these are the six things you probably need a soundtrack for. Things like working or studying with and without lyrics, easing the tension, epic walking since you're on a mobile device. And so what we found people doing is checking in every time they change context throughout the day. So if this were Thursday morning, and we can actually toggle to Thursday morning, you would see a very different set of situations based on singing in the shower or waking up or your morning commute or even working out, things people tend to do in the morning. If this were Thursday evening, you would see very different situations that you might need a soundtrack for. So you'd be seeing things like your evening commute or eating dinner with friends or cooking dinner or relaxing after a long day. And the idea is there's no easier way to find music than having the situations you're in presented to you and then a quick, a quick couple taps to the perfect playlist. So let's show you what that might look like. Let's say it's Saturday night, for example. I'll go late night with it. Getting scandalous. Late night. So if it was Saturday late night, for Eric, we might show you things like a nightcap or getting high or bedtime. <laughs> Let's tap on getting lucky. So once you choose the situation, we say about to get lucky, pick a style that matches your approach. And so we've got different getting lucky <laughs> styles. Um, we'll go with aggressive. So if you tap aggressive in those two taps in about eight seconds, we've bought you to three perfect playlists for aggressively getting lucky. Once again, you can tap on it. You can see the description, press play and you're getting lucky. Mm, freak nasty, absolutely. Um, so, I mean, I think this is really awesome. It seems pretty different. My question to you is you're entering into a hugely crowded space. Uh, music is everything. And so, I mean, how do you plan on, on, on combating these big guys like Spotify and Pandora and, and, and the others that, are, that have huge market share right now? That's a good question. So you have, you have two very different types of players in our space. You've got the subscription services. Um, you mentioned one of them. And so for those guys, it's really about users who know what they want to listen to and then accommodating that, serving the right media for them. So if you know you want to hear a particular song or you want to hear a particular album or you want to build a playlist for yourself from scratch, they accommodate that. And that's cool. On the other side, you have radio services. And radio services let you type the name of an artist and they generate a list of songs that are similar to that we see a really big gap in the middle. On the one hand, using, let's say, a Spotify can be hard. You know, for a lot of people, a lot of the time, you don't know exactly what you want to listen to. And even on the Pandora side, always being able to think of which artist you want to hear is also hard. You know, one of the stories we got from our users when we were getting feedback was this mental math that people go through. So you're at work, it's a Monday morning, you want something that's upbeat but mellow, it has lyrics but it's not controversial, and you rack your brain and you think that means Bob Dylan. So you type in Bob Dylan and that's your soundtrack for the day. It's exhausting. You're not going to do that every day. And as a result, you fall back on the five or six or even ten playlists that you found for yourself every single day. And it gets really stale really quickly. Right. So, I mean, I've heard you say a couple times, and, and especially where we met at the New York Tech, De Tech Meetup, that uh, music experts are the ones that, that curate these playlists as opposed to a, an algorithm like, like Pandora's. Um, who are these people? Music experts doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> so who are you talking to and how are those relationships coming about? So this is a wide network of people we've met over the last six years. We've actually been in the digital music space as a team for a longer time than we've been doing Songza. Um, these are ethnomusicologists, these are DJs, these are people who write for Rolling Stone. And so typically we'll have them create a playlist to test their knowledge in a specific subgenre. And if they kill it, we add them to the team. And that way, if we are looking for a young woman who's working out on her iPhone and we want energetic pop music, we know who to tap to create that awesome playlist. 
you know, when you're looking for music for a particular situation, there can be an exact science to it. It's having a person who understands that type of person and that genre create the playlist. If you're just using algorithmic recommendations, you might be keeping all the songs in the same beat per minute range, but it doesn't mean they all made sense for that particular use case. And that's ultimately what people want a soundtrack for. Yeah. Well, I see that there's like a lot of personality in the app. That's kind of a, a big reason why I've been using it for the past couple of days. And th th we've seen just with aggressive and heartfelt getting lucky. Obviously, there's there's some funny moments here. My question is, how important is that to you guys in terms of design and actually building out the app? And, and what inspires that? Do you guys focus on that as a selling point? Or is it just a product of you guys being you and that kind of shining through in the app? Little of column A, little of column B. <laughs> you know, we, um, there are a lot of companies out there that are sort of transacting around music. You know, if you have an experience where you type in the name of an artist and it plays a playlist, that's sort of a transaction. We see ourselves much more as a lifestyle enhancer. And a big part of life is personality. And so if we don't sort of have an opportunity to show our personality through the app, if the app doesn't feel like it has flavor, we haven't done a good job. So we're going to move on to the hard question now. You guys have no audio ads. All I've seen so far is little banner ads at the bottom of the, the app. All the streaming's free. There's no um, limits to how much I can listen to. So are you guys making money? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we're making money. So we currently have two different revenue streams. Um, one is display advertising. So on both web and mobile, we'll show you display ads for different products that will be relevant. We also have a platform that brands can build on top of. So they love the songs of architecture. They are tastemakers and curators in their own right. They want to build on top of it to sort of curate for their own audience in their own way. They can build on top of our platform, which is another sort of stream of revenue to us. Long term, we think there are really interesting opportunities when you're the sort of service that somebody checks into when they wake up and when they work out and when they entertain people. And so really excited about a few other revenue streams that we haven't sort of exposed yet. Mm. Secrets. Oh, yeah. OK, well, um, I guess the last and final question is, what can we expect from you guys? I know that you have a couple different things in the works. I know that Concierge isn't quite on Android yet. It's only on the iPhone. Um, so what can we expect in the coming months? I think in the coming months, you'll see Concierge on Android for sure. You'll see a dedicated iPad app. We're getting a lot of requests for that. You'll also notice Concierge get a lot smarter. So it'll look at not just what people in general in a specific day part are clicking on and then ultimately converting to a happy listening session with, but what you in particular are. So. When you walk into a Starbucks and they say, Jordan, your usual latte, and you say, thank you, that type of experience is what we want to have on songs as well. So expect concierge to feel more and more like that. Wow. OK, well, that sounds awesome. I really want to thank both of you for coming into the studio and chatting it out with me. It's been awesome. And uh, that is it for the Songza app.